Friendly greetings. I am Tolly, and you are watching Master Prim Theater. <laughs> I'm going to show you a really awesome feature in Second Life 1.23 and newer. We have it at last, and it's a great supplement to upload set default permissions. Can you guess what it's going to be? And by the way, if you build or make any cool stuff in Second Life or you have friends that do, be sure to show them this. It's a great time saver. And heck, if you use your inventory at all and change permissions, you're going to want to know about this too. It's let's find out. Aha, what's that? So we just right clicked and edited an object and under the content tab, there is a bulk change content permissions. At last, I know some of you have said to me, oh, I want this like last year, but it's here now. So you can selectively change permissions for one or more oh, content types. There's a lot of help because permissions can be a tricky beast. Be sure to read the caveats. And of course you can't further restrict or unrestrict rather permissions and stuff that's already been restricted. So if something is no copy, you can't just make it copyable. And another thing, if you're wondering where are photos, the ones that would be in your photo album on this list, they're the same as textures. So just remember that and you'll be in good hands. Let's take a look at a quick example where I right click and properties and say, for instance, I want to restrict everything in here to be modifiable, but no copy. So right now this is copyable, sure enough, and this pose is as well. The solution is simple. Just select the appropriate permissions and these two as well, if necessary. So for an inst this instance, and then apply and be patient as it applies. Happens pretty quickly there. And then close that out. And you can check now, right click in properties and sure enough, it's been restricted, can't be copied by the next owner. Let's check this out. Sure enough, this has been restricted too. And by the way, another great tip I'd love to share with you on this front is if you forgot to set some default permissions for stuff you uploaded, a workaround is to drag it into a cube like this. So why don't I go ahead and I'll res a fresh cube right over here. Do, do, do. And if you're wondering why it's darker than the other one, it's just because I did full bright to make it emphasized. <laughs> Tricks of stuff we do in TVA. So say for instance, these four textures and I just shift clicked, clicked to select that range. This is just so much fun. Thanks for watching with me here. And I'm gonna click and drag these into the contents. Okie dokie, they're here. And now right click in properties, you can see and if I want to change these properties on mass with the bulk tool here, permissions, and I will change them to the same as the last set. So let's apply and it's finished and voila or voila, right click and properties. And there it is just as we have expected. Lovely, isn't it? So go ahead and this is really great too if you're a vendor with multiple versions of variations, stuff like hair that's the same design but in different colors, all sorts of uses for this. Simply put, whenever you need to change permissions to the same settings on a bunch of assets, items from your inventory, this is the way to do it. Don't miss out, right click, edit your objects and head for permissions button. Enjoy tremendously, will ya?